Hi, my name's Rob Stevens. I'm an anaesthetist and I'm an associate professor at uh, UCL Medical School. I'm going to just talk a tiny bit about Articulate Rise and how we use it and uh, just show you how easy it is to build a short rise course. I can't emphasize enough the starting thing is really about the story. What's the story? I What's the progression of ideas? How are you going to break that down? Um, you know, between, in a way, that's the, the main headlines, aren't they? Um, and once you've got that, once you've got the main headlines and you know, of course, your learning outcomes, your ILOs, you've got to start with those. What's the, what's the, what's the borders of the, of the educational knowledge you want to impart? Pop those down in uh, either PowerPoint or, uh, of course, Word. Um, and then start thinking, OK, from my learning material, what opportunities are there for interaction? Could I ask them a reflective question or could I insert a graph and say, what do you think this graph shows? And then of course you can provide the answers in RISE. So the next uh, few minutes, I'm just gonna take you through how easy it is to build a RISE course. Um, and don't forget, there's local expertise to help you if you want help. Okay, so we're in our RISE account now, making a blank course. So I've clicked on new course. I'm just gonna call the course trial course. There we go, easy. We're gonna add a description where it says, describe your course. You know, this could be a uh, chapter of a module in science, of course. And we're gonna make, first of all, our plan. What's the story of our whole course? Well, everything should start with an introduction. What's the point of learning this? And then we're going to have some intended learning outcomes, aren't there? ILOs. Um, and then we're going to uh, have the body of work, whatever, whatever this, maybe it's about science, maybe it's about um, something medical, maybe it's about something artistic, doesn't matter. But there's going to be a body of work, as in the teaching material you want to teach. And that's going to be sandwiched in between the start and the end. Important to have a start, important to have an end, of course. So I'll put material one, two and three where, I go, where I'm going to show you some stuff. Then we're going to have let's wrap up or let's conclude or, you know, conclusion. The conclusions will have the learning outcomes there, won't they? But they'll be explained in a, a bit of a way. You know, the I, it's kind of the answer. It's, it's the, the key revision points. Okay, we're still in edit mode now, and we're going to actually write some stuff. So when I click on list, it will populate it with a list. We've got to highlight that, and I'm just gonna put ILO one there, whatever the ILO is, you know, understand uh, or describe the importance of, you know, uh, the pre-Botzinger complex in, you know, something scientific perhaps, if you're doing science. Headings, styles, we can change really easily in RISE. So I'm just uh, doing some text here. Because, uh, of course, we don't just want the ILOs to appear. We want to say, these are the learning outcomes. This is what the course is going to be built on. Do you see what I mean? So it's not, uh, there's a story, there's a narrative, as if you've got the teacher in the room. That's the, that's the point. That's one of the benefits of RISE, I think. Um, and of course, RISE is a place where we can have videos, a bit of interaction, which I'll show later, pictures, which can be interactive, and so on. Okay, fine. So I'm just flicking up and down there. Okay, we're going to go to the material now, add some, it, we're going to have a lesson, not a quiz, although of course we can have quizzes in here. Fine, I've added some text. I'm going to add a picture just to show you other ways we can put pictures. Yeah, there we go. So maybe this is a graph. You can say, have a look at this graph. What, what do you think about this figure, graph, interaction between chemical X, chemical Y, or chemical X, process Y. Always credit images. Uh, you know, say this has been taken from, or redrawn from, or, you know, and so on. Rice has a big picture bank of stuff, you know, but it's not very science heavy. But that's okay. Okay, so I'm just showing you, you can have different ways we can alter the text. Okay, I'm going to go back now again to see the layout. 
core material too. I'm just going to show you different. So we've got some headings there. And now I'm going to just add another little heading there. Another heading, of course. Uh, but this just mirrors the fact you're going to have a progression of ideas, of course, throughout your learning material, aren't you? Um, I'm just putting some text. I think I'm going to show you how easy it is to change the text, change the style of the text, the size of the text. Um, here we go. You can change it. So you highlight it and then a the little uh, menu comes down, you know, so you can supersize, size O2. You can make the text bigger. Uh, you can change the... Um, change the colour and I'm going to just add an, an external hyperlinks to the BBC website, for example. Um, I would suggest if you are hyperlinking to other external websites, make sure they are the quote root site, i.e. the core stable website. That's not going to change. The BBC may choose to remove a page or add a page and so um, we're only going to link to sites which won't change, we think. We're going to go to preview mode, click on the top right, preview. And zoom down and have a little look, hyperlink. Yeah, great. Go back. Fine. So I'm going to show a few features now. In the conclusion section, again, we're going to add a lesson, probably a bit of text saying, now we've finished the course, let's think about what we've learnt. Something like that. And then we'll add the learning outcomes, but with the kind of expanded learning outcomes, you know, the kind of the learning outcomes, um, but with the answers. So we might say, let's say we're talking about the heart, uh, understand or describe the four chambers of the heart. We might say in the learning outcomes at the end, understand that the four chambers are called left atria, left ventricle, right atria, right, right ventricle, separated by valves and so on, um, and septum between the right and the left side, something like that. We might expand the learning outcome, because these are kind of core revision things. I try and make a very simple summary, uh, which will be the learning outcomes expanded, because don't forget the students, if this is online, they can't download this. So I want to give them something to download a summary document that just kind of has the key points. And that helps me focus. What am I going to set in the exams? Well, look at the key points um, and um, then we can find out. So I'm going to just change that image to, I think, a three column grid. Yeah. So I'm going to have a picture of myself, probably, or a picture of something in this case. Um, and describe Rob did it. Why is this important? Because I think in, in two years time, if the course changes, changes hands, you want to go back to the authors and say, Hey, what do you want to do with this? And so on. So I'm just describing, you know, adding another author, which is another picture. Of course, this could be three graphs if you if you want to compare and contrast things. I'm just adding a third uh, image, I think, now. Uploading one. Doesn't matter who this is, what. But we're describing the image. It will be the person or the... There we go. Fine. It's it's populated it with some more stuff as well. Doesn't matter. It's not relevant. So when you click on it, obviously it, it, it goes large and so on. OK, I think we're nearing the end. We can change the colour. That orange colour can be something else. We're just going to quickly look in preview mode now. We know we're in preview mode because because it says edit top right. If we were to click on the edit mode. So we're back in edit mode now. I'm going to add something different here. I'm going to add some text, um, which is going to be a question for the students, a reflective question. I think about this or what does this graph mean to you or what do you think is happening in this picture or something like that, a reflective question. And then I'll just show you one way we can have a, I think it's called a reveal. It's certainly in the interactive thing. Accordion, it calls it, fine. So I have this. Let's say if we ask the medical students, what would you do in the first, what top five things would you do? We say, click to see our thoughts 
on the first five minutes and then I might say click to see our other thoughts which might be useful as well so you you're, you're asking them to interact a bit can be a graph can be a picture can be a video um, we're just going to change change that it doesn't really matter what we change it to I'm going to try and look for a graph or some bit of science but I can't find one in my um, in my pictures so but it's very easy to create one isn't it um, take it probably from your lecture or something like that there we go I'm going to try and find a graph perhaps a systematic review um, to talk about looking at um, meta-analysis you know interpreting that I'm going to put a picture instead of one of my heroes Olivier, Olivier Messiaen who's a French composer um, in the 20th century doesn't matter what it is you could insert a graph here, yeah. Okay, I think we've got about a, a minute more of this talk. I'm just gonna show you another thing, which is an interactive picture, labeled graphic, of course. So basically you could have a picture of a graph, you could have a picture of, and you could have little dots on, and either a sound file, where you just talk or a description of you know notice how the graph is rising here this is because of second order kinetics or some you know scientific description that you want to use here I guess I can't emphasize enough if you do want to make rise it's getting the story right which is the initial part which is the headlines and the the sub headlines um, that's that's the main thing I would say okay so we're just gonna see the entirety of it now. It's a very short course, of course, I made I did it spontaneously in real time. I didn't prepare this at all, but you can see how quick it is to do if you've got the materials, if you've got the story. I would say that the, the time is really thinking about making the education interactive. Whereas obviously with a PowerPoint, we're just delivering information, aren't we? Just delivering it saying this is true this is true look at this look at this so we're just going to go back and just have a quick look at one of the other courses I've made before which is part of our rise sort of package these are all things that I've, I've made or my colleagues have made I think we're going to look at the surgical journey it's just because it, it shows videos as well okay and you can just see how it looks pretty there click on start course we've got some learning outcomes, learning objectives that we want to fulfill. There's a sound file there. I'm not going to play it now, but a text and then a video, which I will just uh, play a bit of. I'm going to talk about the surgical I've added journey. I've titles or subtitles to the video, which um, is the part of the thing we're going to ask to do now for um, uh, get to uh, the sort of equality um, and how, um, what reasons uh, to make our education material uh, to, available to as wide an audience as possible. Clicking on images, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Um, so you can see some details there, so long as the image is detailed enough. Okay, so the, so the story I had in this was the before surgery, during surgery, after surgery. There's a drag and drop quiz. It can give feedback. So I'm just dragging these things through. Um, I think there'll be another, I'm gonna just scroll down now right to the end. Uh, where there's a summary. Really with this, I should add a downloadable summary as well, which is one of my ambitions, something I'm going to do. They're just clicking on there to an external link, just showing you can have external links to references and stuff. Um, and there, that ends our little talk. So if you want to uh, know a bit more, I have got a separate RISE uh, file that I'll attach with this. Um, video which shows the different things that RISE can do but do get in touch with the Robert Stevens uh, just google UCL Stevens um, if you want to know more about making a file in RISE. All the best.